everyone, welcome back to Login Helps. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to know if a Flipgrid topic or discussion is private. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. Start off by opening up a web browser and type in flipgrid.com and enter. Log into your Flipgrid account if necessary. And if a group or a topic is private, you'll be able to see a private level in the group you've created. Within a discussion, click on create a topic and create a new topic. Add a title for your topic and ask a question to start your discussion. You can also add a media resource if you want. You can record a video, upload, add a video from your YouTube and much more. After you're done with everything, right next to topic moderation, enable the toggle. Now, any videos and comments that were submitted prior to enabling topic moderation will remain visible to students until the educator hides them. Once the video moderation has been enabled, click on create topic. Now, once I've set up my topic, go to the edit option right next to the topic and scroll all the way down until you see the status option. Where it says topic status, click on the drop down and then click on hidden. Once you do that, your topic will be hidden and no one will be able to see or find the topic on Flipgrid. After you do that, click on update topic. Now, in order to know if your topics are private, simply click on the topics option and you'll be able to see that the status has been hidden. If it's labeled as hidden, it means that the topics in a certain group has been made private since no one will be able to access to the topics. So if you see a button like this, you can tell that the topics on your Flipgrid has been set private or hidden. If you'd like to make it active, you can click on this drop down and click on active and that way you'll be able to remove your privacy for your Flipgrid topics. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.